Joining us this morning is Mauricia Kelly, Program Officer at the Ministry of Youth Empowerment, Aging and Disabilities, as we discuss the Seniors Day program. Good morning, Mauricia, and welcome to Good Morning SKN. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Alrighty. So tell us, what is the need, or why was this program started? Okay, we started the program for seniors in three different communities, which is East Bastia, also known as the Newtown, St. Peter's, and St. Paul's. The need for the program is because most of the seniors are home just not doing anything. Okay. So we started the program so they can come on out, come out and enjoy some activities that we have planned for them. Why only those three areas, though? Because we have seniors all around St. Kitts. Okay, th those three are the pilot programs. Okay. So hopefully next day we'll have three more centers open up and implemented for the program. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so you're talking about pilot programs, which mm -hmm. obviously means that you're collecting some data as uh, you implement it. Yes. <laughs> Whether it's qualitative or quantitative. In other words, you're getting feedback from the seniors. You're yes, as, as to what, like, what they want to do, what they expect for, from us in the future, and these other stuff. What are the things that they're saying? They want to do um, crochet, mm. basketry. They want to um, go to the schools and teach them like stuff that they used to do in the long time days. Okay. Yes, like how to make Johnny cake and <laughs> sugar cake and the pull pull okay. and the job home breakers. Oh, so they're ensuring that those crafts don't die don't with die. them. Don't I die. like that. Right. I like so that. that is really meaningful. And the question that I have for you is when you see uh, the seniors engaging in that way, wanting to contribute to society, do you feel that your program is actually indeed successful? Yes, it is. Because some of the seniors also in the day program, they want to cook for each other so you can, so they can get a, um, a sense of their recipes. Okay. Yes. Well, are there the ratio of male to females um uh, we only have like four 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 males oh. yes mm -hmm. in all three programs wow yes so is it harder to get the males to come out yes it's harder to get the males to come oh, out wow. Mm. But you do have the females and we're grateful for of course that mm. involvement now as program coordinator you obviously are in charge of planning and you have some oversight of this program. So walk us through what your job is like typically. Okay, um, it's, my job is to get um, persons on board, like different um, various um, stakeholders, stakeholders okay. yes, to come on board. We have for next month, we want to have the um, presentation from NEMA so they can know about the disaster coming about June. Yeah. Is, hurricane season so we want to get them ready as to prepare us for hurricane season okay. you mentioned preparedness for the hurricane season what who which other stakeholders do you use per se the bank so we we continue to help them with their money yes personally? um in june we're gonna have financial marketing okay yes and then we're gonna have the police and the fire rescue also with a presentation to teach them about safety on the road the fire safety at home this other stuff. Okay. I don't know if you have this data, but I'm just curious. Uh, there are some people as they get older, they prefer to live alone. And so obviously you're taking some of these people in yes. the day. Uh, do you have any stats as to, on average, how many people in your program actually live by themselves as opposed to with other people? You can say on our program in Newton, we have about around 20 persons. So in Newton, you can say maybe like um, ten percent of them are live. Ten percent of them living alone. Oh, okay. Is that challenging for you in any way, or challenging for them? Uh, no, they prefer that way. They mm -hmm. don't want nobody to live with them <laughs> and those other stuff. Yes, because okay. <laughs> when they put on this stuff, they want able to find it where I put it down. Oh, okay, oh, that's understood. a common complaint that I've heard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know they partook in a in a kite making session yes. recently what other activities have they done thus far uh, right now we're doing art and craft okay. we have mr dennis Richards at newtown and in st paul's and we have a mr milano welcome okay. at st peter's so yes. they are going to be painting yes they oh, are um nice. st peter's painted already last Ooh. tuesday this tuesday sorry yes so they painted on the canvases he asked them what they wanted to make they said they want to do rose okay. so he did they, they draw the rose and they painted their Oh, nice. So are we ever going to see all these work that they would have done on this place somewhere? Yes, on our Facebook page. Okay, okay. All right. Which is? <laughs> Ministry of Youth Empowerment, Aging and Disability. Yeah, just okay. on Facebook and yeah, maybe. Okay. So in keeping with that, obviously you're 
using people from the public to facilitate these programs yes. as well. Is there a call for more involvement from the community? What do you want if you had the chance, which you do now actually, you know, in terms of support? Well, uh, we ask some persons to come on board, even for sponsorship, because um, we don't have much money, because as you said, the ministry just um, oh, launched. Yes. Okay. This ministry just launched on the 20th of, of February, and we launched the elderly prog the day program on the 20th of March. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so uh, follow up to that, you're dealing with these seniors in the day, so your hours of dealing with them are what? From nine in the morning mm -hmm. to two in the afternoon. Which means that you also provide them with lunch? Yes. So if somebody did not have the money, but they wanted to contribute in terms of yes. food or anything yes, like they that, can that, they can do yes. that as well. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. yes. And how do they reach you to make these donations? We can be reached at 665-3983. Okay. Now, this sounds like a really exciting thing because I think that, again, it puts you in a unique seat because you're able to facilitate older people continuing yes. to be involved mm -hmm. in society. They're aging, but they still have a lot to add. Yes. Uh, what have been some of the lessons that you've learned from your engagement with them? Oh, <laughs> that's a good question. I've learned a lot. A lot, a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. Um, they teach me like, it's like, oh, you don't have to sign the machine, you can sign your hand. Yes, I'm like, oh, I don't like sign on my hand. That exactly. is too much work. Exactly. The machine is easier. It's easier. Um, mm -hmm. You can wash on your hand, you don't have to wash in the machine. Like, you know what age is this? <laughs> <laughs> Until the electricity goes and then you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but yes, it's been, it's been fun. Mm -hmm. They teach you a lot of things because um, the a teacher at St. Peter's is only 23. Okay. And they adopted him. Um, grandson, grandson, oh, this yes. is my grandchild. Oh, yes. that's and so he enjoyed sweet. them very well. Oh, that's yes. good. So, so we know it is having a positive impact on them. Yes. Okay. Is there any provision for involving, let's say, technical skills in this? So technology skills, rather, in this? Are they uh, learning to use the computer? Is, there, is that a plan? Is that something they want to do? Can they do that? We with um that's a good question because most of them they have the smartphone but they can't really use the smartphone. Yeah. So in one of the sessions we want to have somebody from technology to come in and teach them how to use the smartphone. As some most like to do a WhatsApp mm -hmm. because they say most of them who lives who does not live alone have to ask their grandchild or the grandchildren how to do the WhatsApp. Okay. All right, so I'm going to plant the seed here because we had telecoms representatives uh, here yesterday, telecom representatives here yesterday, so perhaps you can reach out to sure. those providers and see if they can facilitate those sessions because that would be mm -hmm. a good idea. Yes, yes, that would be a good idea. Okay. I feel like I'm working with you already. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it's about, you know, community involvement, yeah. yes. ensuring that they... Um, and for one thing, they don't just come and learn stuff. Every month, every day of this day week, the Monday is Newtown, Tuesday is St. Peter's, and Wednesday is St. Paul's. Oh, we have a church from each community comes in and the morning devotion. Okay. Yes. So it's not every day of the week? No, it's just three oh, days. Oh, I thought it was yes. every day of the week in those three communities. No, then we go back Thursday and Friday to the office to plan for the next week. So have they requested more days? Uh, no, the seniors, not, not yet. Okay. No, not yet. Okay, okay. so no. they're contented. All right, so this question is whether or not you see it long-term branching out to accommodate more days, and if so, is one of the reasons that you haven't done that perhaps because of human resources and other resources? Yes, but um, we have this person who wants to come on board to do backyard gardening, mm -hmm. so hopefully we should be more days in the week okay. for the three community centers. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Dcash, we know the actual tangible money, we're not mm -hmm. going to have it soon. Is there a facilitator that's going to come in to help them with Dcash because they already have the problem with um, using the devices? How soon will that person come in because it's it's already incorporated into society? Uh, that I can't say right okay. now. Okay. Yes. Okay. I don't want to give you a time and then it does not work by okay. that time. Okay, no problem. All right, so tell us about how you work along with your team to facilitate these programs. Okay, I have two officers work with me. Um, normally one works in the kitchen and the other one works on the floor with the elderly. Okay. Yes. Why did you, did you choose this part or this part chose you? It chose me. Okay, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. How so? Yes. <laughs> I, okay, um, first it was social services. Mm -hmm. It was all together and then the ministry divided. Okay. Yes. And then they just said they want Miss Kelly because Miss Kelly works with the elderly. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> yes. 
Well, that's, that's definitely sweet. commendable, and I think that anyone who sends, you know, their elderly relatives to that program would be comforted in knowing that you do take yes, an interest in yes. them as well. Because <laughs> I treat them just like they, they are my mother. Mm, nice. What's the most fascinating conversation that you've had with them as part of the program? Because I know that they have a lot of Jimmy, you really want to know? I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's so much. I can't even keep up with them. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> The oh. the most interesting one, the one that stood out to you. Uh, you're not married. Oh, Lord. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I was like, um, when it's ready, it's gonna come to me. Mm. I'm not washing it. Oh my god. Okay, you said there were only four meals, so I'm assuming you didn't get a proposal. <laughs> no, <yet>. not yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Perhaps with time. Perhaps. <laughs> no, I I know for a fact um, that in dealing with them, they can be some of the most engaging people. Mm -hmm. There might also be some who don't necessarily come out of their shell as easily as others. Have you experienced that? All of them that? are out of their oh, shell. Really? All are out of their mm. shell. Even the gentlemen, they're out of their shell. <laughs> <laughs> All. <Sorry. laughs> Oh. Do you find that they talk a little more because they, well, you said they're out of their shells, so you probably wouldn't know this, but mm -hmm. their engagement with each other, what's that like on a day-to-day -day basis? The engagement with each other is good because um, up to the Wednesday, one of them saying they like the program, they like being here, the group is a nice group. St. Peter's gave themselves their own name, the elite group. Ooh. They're not elderly, they're elite. Elite, yes, yes. of course. I love that, actually. <laughs> you might have to start a competition with the others <laughs> to see who yes. has the, oh, the best nice. name. I like yes. that. Yes. And they're absolutely right. They are elite, not elderly. I love it. Yes, um, and the, the lady which is coming up next, oh my God, you're going to love her. <laughs> I feel like I know her. I feel like I met her already. When I saw the name and I feel, <laughs> I know exactly, oh, you, there you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you yes. go. I know, I know Shirley for, oh yeah, you guys want to stay for that because, yeah, she's, she's mm -hmm. a yes. full bottle of life. She's, a, hand, she's a handful. Mm -hmm. Which is good, full yes. of life. Yes. And they keep you young, right? I imagine they yes. keep you on your toes. Yes, very much so. <laughs> Yes, especially Shirley. Uh -oh. Wow. Do they um, speak to you about any future goals they might have for themselves? Um, some of them, um, they want to know like, how to know how to do their will because they don't have any wills. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wow. So we want to have someone to come in and talk to them about that. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually very good because um, I know of older people as well who probably never even thought of going to a lawyer yes. to consider what their will would look like if they should even get mm -hmm. one etc and so a lot of things are left up in the air i'm glad that you know you're on the ground there and you're going to be mm -hmm. facilitating those things it's really meaningful so if anyone else wants to participate in this program again where do they find you we are located at the east west community center formerly known as the newton community center that's where the office is the aging oh. office yes mm -hmm. all right you come and you look for miss kelly miss kelly or miss mm -hmm. lindsay Duo, who is the coordinator of aging Okay. okay, awesome.